Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the game that's going to be happening Scorchers versus the Thunder and the games at the Optus Stadium. This man's favorite venue is sitting right here with me and he'll tell you more about it and he'll tell you more about how you can form the base team too. Nikhil bhai, what are your thoughts with so many big players going out in this one? That just tells you how uh, good the batting is going to be. Uh, with the match at Optus, so pace is pace here, will be the day, will be the honor of the day and thankfully so far, uh, the backing of form is working for us, so try it in the future, form se not fun, but again, BBL is not a big place, nahi hai. it will turn out to be random, Marcus Stone is not bowling, Zampa bowling in the end overs, these are not things you have uh, match ke time, pe aap pehle bhi soch ke predict kar sakte ho ke aisa hoga. So, this is why we have to say that 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 we have to say So, yes, that is what we'll talk about it again. Uh, again, we have to say that we have to We'll talk about that too. But yes, Optus, space is space here. Yes, so let's hear more on how we expect the venue conditions to go about for this one. So, Nikhil, why do you think we should skip this section with the amount of times that we've discussed this ground in the last five to six days or any new insights that you have in terms of any pattern or the way you've seen the game go? And has the has the deck in any way actually slowed down or is it going to assist spin or is it just going to be pace yet again? Yeah, I think it is going to be pace uh, continuously. You see, whatever games you've played, uh, I think the one pattern that I do feel is if you bowl first very well, Hmm. Uh, then it sets the game up for you. Even if it's a low score, then you are able to pace your mark much better. So the last four games, mein, last five games, mein, only one team is one defending the score. And that is obviously hmm. first coaches. So that is will be up with Sida Sida option again. You have to bat very, very well in the first. So if you don't do that, I think it's going to be very difficult. Again, good game to try for second is fantasy also. Uh, especially if Kohata bowling second, uh, hmm. yeah, even batting second. Because kuch kuch player hain. Turner, naam bhi le liya. So yes, that's all that you can try. I think pace should continue to do well, especially now with the batting also reduced for both teams. Uh, quality batting. So boy, I think it will, that that will continue. Yes, absolutely. And we are uh, recording this preview at the time of the Melbourne Derby yet going on. So in case Renegades defend the score, don't put comments that. They have already defended the score in the last five matches. And now <laughs> let's look at what we have for the base team. So let's look at the base team now. And first up, if you see the keeping section, we have gone with Josh Inglis there. And uh, there's another well, well debated, <laughs> well uh, discussed Matthew Jibbs. And uh, I'll get to that. Nikhil, I will get to that. I'll discuss the batters first. Alex Hale, the Riley Rousseau, and Fab Duplessis. And the only real other option you might want to try is Ashton Turner. As far as form is concerned, Alex Ross, Adam Lights are all tempting guys to try. But all of them have succeeded in conditions where it's generally been flatter and you'll not expect that at Optus. So, Nikhil, I won't ask you why you won't take any other batter. I'll ask you why you're not taking Matthew Gilks. See, this is the game where you take a risk on a batter who either bats in the middle of us. So, if you think that Hale, Chiruso, Faf, Tino don't need you, then go with Oliver Davis or if you want to, Ashton Turner and Alex Ross, that kind of picks. So, if you want to go with your visualization, if you think that the definitely will go here, so that is the way you can construct your team around bowlers. So, then you should come from captain and captain. But if you think that there is no batter that is going to go, you have to go to Callum Jewel in one game, one game, two game, two match geeks are going to go. So that is something that you don't see happening. So if you think that there is no part of your visualization, you think that you will keep the runs first and the thunder will be And they will be able to play out, which I don't think it is possible to play out Jason, Jai and Ty. But again, stranger things have happened in BBL. So, if you can go with that visualization, if you don't, the logic will say that the informed batter is making the runs consistently and then you hmm. can back one of the top order or you can always try the middle order options from the team batting first also. Batting second also actually, first and second both. 
Right, and do you see uh, someone like Alex Hales getting cramped for room and getting bold with the likes of Jai, Jason, all the guys who are going to just uh, tackle the stumps again and again? And we've seen with Jai the amount of times he's missed the stumps while bowling in the first uh, set of two overs for him. Do you see something like that happening? Yes, Hales ke agar number dekhe hum, to there end of 12 ball me 12 run, two wicket. So that is enough uh, first enough threat for him to three over ohi pe aapko khelne mil jayenge unke sath and then you also have the option of uh, jai and tai tai ko to unhone fir bhi chalo it's easier for him to tackle tai because he comes in hmm. that that much later i don't think he's got an out to jai richardson uh, as as of now so the only threat if you then see is jason barrett so to agar jason barrett of ko geek sab kaise bhi karke out ho jaye ya nikal le to he can have a Thoda slight easy track, but again, it's going to be difficult, which is not even an understatement. But yeah, batting will be a risk. I think you will see that in every battle in this game. So if you want to go to the middle order options, then definitely go ahead. I think it might be a good option to again, of course, play only mini gels because that is the kind of game that is your most common captain in this game. So the second game, the first captain is Jai Richardson. So Daniel Sanchez has gone out, so maybe mini gels might be the best way to go because the risk is definitely high. Yes, the risk is high and Daniel Sams, Ashton Agar, both are not going to be part of this one. Yeah. So now you have to move towards the other options that you were tempted to try as GL options across the mm-hmm. season. Now you can try them in your base team. Aaron Hardy, who bowled his full quota in the last game. Yes. And we don't see anything different happening unless they get in an extra bowler or all-rounder. Ben Cutting, who again was on the bench for quite a while, but now with no Daniel Sams, we expect his role to be even elevate, elevated more, especially because he has bowled decently in the few chances that he's got. And then in the bowling, all the pace and pace and pace, because you can try Chris Green, Peter Hedzoglu, and uh, I'll discuss them more in the next section. But I think that pace will be the key, at least as far as the base is concerned. Because and the smiles that you see are because of wickets falling to Majibur Rahman uh, in the Renegades game. But yes, that's what it is. When your visualization works, it feels the best because there was a logic there and which is why it's working. Same is the case here. Oh, two wickets. Backed, wow. <laughs> yeah. So okay. here we've backed all pace because that's the kind of venue. But in the last game, we saw that the spinners were being used much better in a, in a way that you found, ke, okay, why are the spinners bowling? But they are used somehow, and they always find a way to be part of the game. So, uh, Green Sap, so matchup ke aage nahi jayenge mujhe lagta hai. So, ek matchup upar hai. Uske baad kya karenge? That's your call. So, I don't think aapki team zada isse mein change hogi apart from the batting section. So, which is why again mini gel set there is been high. So, feel free to make any changes. Could be the game where a captain vice captain decides your grand league rank as well. Who knows? Yes, absolutely. That could be the order of the day. And now let's look at what we have in terms of Grand League options for this one. So, Grand League options for this one. And now that spinners are just making me happy in the last few minutes, I'll start by talking about the spinners that I was discussing before the preview. Now, while we talk a lot about pace on this venue, we, it's also very important, like we always say, one is to discuss the pitch and the conditions. Other is also to look at the batters that are going to be standing in front. So, while the pitch and conditions are going to favor pace, you also have to keep in mind that the batters in front are some of the best players of pace, whether it's Hales or so of Fab Duplicy. So, does that mean that you can take a chance on the fact that they might be able to play that phase well and then lose their wickets to spin? Because while they might be able to play pace well, will they be able to score off them freely would be an important question one. So, if you feel like they might just play them out, might not score too many runs and then lose wickets to spin, that would be a story for you to try, especially in the second innings, like I always say with spinners because they bowl in the middle overs. So, my two picks, Usman Kadir and Peter Hedzoglu, one of the two who have a bowl second. Beautiful, kafi fair uh, uh, logic hai pe. So, yes, I think similar logic for me, but I'll, I'm probably going to turn to not Turner, uh, which is my favorite coach, coach as batter in which race, but uh, I think Bancroft came in and looked very good in the, in the uh, previous game. And if I'm not wrong, I think in the head-to-head with the two teams, he is probably the highest scorer as of now. Uh, in these two sides for now. So, 273 runs in eight matches is a very 
डिसेंट एंड इज प्लेड इनफ एट द एट द वेन्यू इज वेल तो वो कंसर्ट भी उनके लिए नहीं है इसके बाद जो दूसरा पिक है थंडस का दैट इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी वेरी ट्रिकी पिक एंड आई विल बैट नेतन मैकेंड्रिव इफ इज बोलिंग एंड यूज वेरी वेल सो अगेन ही इज नॉट अ ग्रैंड लीग पिक पर से बट आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी पीपल विल मेक हिम कैप्टन एज कैप्टन बट बिकॉज ही बोल्स वेरी एट टाइम्स वेरी स्ट्रेट एंड टारगेट्स द स्टम्स एंड देन those are the kind of guys that you don't want to miss out on especially when they are bowling at the power surge and in the end overs so main wahan unse teen char wicket expect nahi kar raha hu par do ya teen bhi le le aur agar wo mere vice captain hai to it could be at the difference if jai only takes one or if tai only takes one so that is the way you'd want the wicket distribution to happen so yes i think ek proper dono bhi agar aap dekhe to aise grand league pick nahi hai to game hi grand league ki hai kya karein so he said this yesterday also that he is not expecting uh, too many wickets from tom rogers and at the time of us recording this he is <laughs> just starting his fourth over and char wicket unko already mil gaye and uh, important point to highlight is that we look at a lot of data we look at a lot of mm-hmm. stats but at many points we don't back what we look at like it's important yeah. for you to do that research but then if you are spending that time it's important for you to back that in your team also because there's no point if you're doing all that research and then that player is not in your team and you're picking as per select percent so go with the story especially because so many people are anyway taking high risk and a lot of chances so it's yeah. important for you that if you have done some research or if you're hearing or consuming some content believe in it if you want to go all the way and crack uh, at least a mini gl because you need to have those differential choices backed either with data or with your visualization to work out for you to bilkul aur aisa bhi nahi hai ki main ye nahi recommend karunga ki aap unhe aapki main team mein aap captain bana do vice captain bana do that's also not not required you can always play a slightly safer role with team one but because we were confident with rogers we picked him in the base team itself which again was a show of confidence ke bhai ye चलेंगे एंड विच इज वाई आई कीप से जो भी प्लेयर आपका बेस्ट टीम का हिस्सा है उसको आप ग्रैंड लीग कैप्टन बता रहे हो तो एटलीस्ट इन योर टीम टू और टीम थ्री जो भी आपके ग्रैंड लीग ऑप्शन की टीम होती है वहाँ पे आप डेफिनेटली उन्हें यू नो पिक कर सकते हो आई थिंक पोटेंशियली लास्ट ओवर हुक्स फाइव दिस इज द परफेक्ट वे टू कैप्चर के हाउ यू कैन बैक वॉचिंग द प्लेयर जो हमने पहले बात करी थी फॉर एल एस रिचर्डसन Uh, and other guys as well. Peter Siddle, he came in, came in and took two wickets. So that is the kind of uh, dedication. Yeah, you have to keep it. That your visualization is actually what is going on. And backing it is very important. Because many times we say, ki, "Oh, that there we go. We have, we have the fight." So again, four we took, last over, two we took, and the other two we took. Two wickets we took. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Fair call. So that clip will come soon. Hopefully, <laughs> I'll share that. But uh, yes, the point is that you. वो गट फील आती है हम बहुत दफा मैच के बाद सोचते हैं कि यार मुझे लगा था ये लेगा पर मैंने लिया नहीं तो वो डर को या तो आप टीम वन में मत लो चाहिए तो बट टीम टू में कैप्टन मैच कैप्टन करके मैनेजर ज्वाइन करो क्योंकि द डे इट क्लिक्स ऑल यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इज द रिटर्न दैट फॉर योर इन्वेस्टमेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ एफर्ट एंड एवरीथिंग तो यस पांच विकेट मुबारक सबको थॉमस रॉजर्स थैंक यू सो मच बॉलिंग वाला रॉजर्स एज ए कैप सेइंग इन यस एंड आइरोनिकली ही गॉट द बैटिंग वाला रॉजर्स आउट सो इट वाज अ गुड स्टोरी देयर and uh, we'll sum up the preview on this one thank you so much to everyone who tuned in we hope that you have another great game all the good luck to all of you cheers see you very soon